slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another Big Dork Energy stream with me, Cheru. Um, today we are playing a bit of a throwback, Fear, and I'm very excited to play it. This is uh, like a pretty monumental game for me growing up, uh, but I have not played it for a very long time, so I'm super excited to get into it. We're just going to throw it in here. Hey Joel, how you doing man? Good to see you again. Altard, I'm not sure if you're around, but I appreciate that early lurk. Definitely saw that earlier. Thank you, man. You're the best. Let's see. Oh, well, I missed the first part, but it basically just said something bad happened. We sent in our finest soldiers. Fear, that's quite a, quite a name. Some nice music. Well, like most uh, monolith games, I guess up to this point, some weird psychological stuff in it, which is fun. Big fan. I really like this intro music. Got a certain flair to it. Okay. So the crows like pooped on a guy's jail cell and the chemicals and the smell from the poop made him crazy. All right. I buy that. <laughs> Maybe? I don't really remember much about this game, if anything. I do remember a little girl. Oof. That was a main vein. That was a squirter. Stage 5 squirter. Oh, these guys are like... Just soldier NPCs. I love it. Okay, so the team came in and killed everybody. I'm picking that up. Picking up what you're putting down here. No, not the generic soldiers. Oh, so he's a hungry boy. Gotcha. Can't really blame him for that, honestly. Yes. Sorry to wake you, Senator. 
He's hung over his shit. What happened? There was an uprising. Bettle has taken command of the prototype. My God. We God. can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. Love it. Oh, all right, all right. Let me make a few calls. Think they're long distance. Hungry boy sounds like me most of the time. Yeah, this same. Draco's honestly. <laughs> Paxton Fettel. He's the key. If we contain him, we contain the situation. Fucker's got an appetite. I think he has a drawer full of snacks is dangerous. He's getting something out of it. Essential vitamins and nutrients. What's his story? Property of Armacam Technology Corporation. They're working on a military contract to develop an army of clones that respond to a psychic commander. Top secret, of course. Fettel is one. That's kind of terrifying. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This hey, Eltard, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Woohoo! Hell yeah. <laughs> Highly trained and heavily armed. A battalion? What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Kill them all. Said, we put Fettel down and it's over. Fortunately, the whole point of the program is to give commanders first hand. Look at this dude, he's like standing fisted. It's just he's ready to throw down at any point. Without having to wade through all those soldiers. I guess he How do we find does him? a safe fear on him. Transmitter in his head. Should lead us right to him. Oh, convenient. easy peasy. Assuming it does what it's supposed to. It's like a lost dog. How about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? Hell yeah. In the field? <laughs> Are you crazy? He just transferred in a week ago. You've seen his training results. Typical new guy. Totally off the charts. I think he can handle himself. Whatever, man. It's your we'll call. see. I can't guarantee right. I can handle myself. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Let's roll. Let's roll. What an intro. Oh. What's the first thing I remember? Um, I don't know. Falling off my bike, maybe? You will be a god among men. Hello, Gordon. You wonder what this game's about? Oh, have you never uh, played this game? It's been a bit of an older game. Pretty classic. Um, it's been a long time since I've played it, and honestly, yeah, I don't remember what much it's about either, other than what we've seen in the last three minutes. It's very shooty. I know that. I remember that very much. Very fondly. Um, okay, so we can peek. I love that. Any game that you can peek is, like, improved slightly than if you couldn't peek. Break or shoot the boards. Well, I don't want to waste ammo. How do I... You play games like Red Dead 1 and San Andreas. Oh, nice. Well, those are two good games. Guess I'll use my ammo. What's your favorite uh, Rockstar game? I'm going to guess either Red Dead or San Andreas. <laughs> did you find us through the, the Grand Theft Auto stream? I feel like you did. Oof, that's a big rat. Ew. You're an undercover clown that has to cure the fear of agents? Honestly. You guys hear this? Sorry. Like, I, that is so loud for me. I don't know what was happening there. Oh my god. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> What the hell? Okay, I mean, it's an older game. I'm okay with funny glitches happening. An undercover clown that has to cure the fear of agents sounds like any... Way scarier than anything... Oh, the rat's back! Anything that this could possibly be. Here we go. You know what? I'm not gonna kill the rat. Yeah, that's not why we're here. We're here to kill bad guys, and that rat is just living. Your favorite game is Red Dead Redemption 1. No, fair enough. It's an amazing game. Do you prefer it over uh, Red Dead 2? You found it during The Walking Dead Telltale. Oh, okay. Yeah, the last episode. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't gone back to it. I don't know. I was kind of disappointed with um, Season 3, Episode 1. And, like, I don't know if I want to play it. <laughs> but I do want to finish the story, so it's a bit of, like, a, a conundrum. Hey, bro. What took you so long? Was that necessary? I could find a way around. I could squeeze through that hole. Okay, so I have to rendezvous with this guy. and Well, nothing bad will happen for sure. But I do like loot, so I'm going to loot here. Oh, health permanently increased. Hell yeah. Kill me. You've been moving the items that you had in your base to the new one for like three hours. Oh my gosh, dude. 
What a time sink. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these bins are just crazy. Uh, yeah, that's that's wild. Altard. How many hours do you have in the game? I feel like that's Chris with DayZ. Nitro. He has so many hours in it, but I feel like most of it is just like him looting and preparing for, for Daedra and I. It's me, Joker Enjoyer. Oh, oh, hey, Joker Enjoyer. Good to see you. And also, hello, Daedrit. <laughs> You'll never know which order I read that in. Uh, yeah, no worries about the lurk, uh, Joker. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that was good timing, Daedrit. Wow. It's almost like you're the same guy. Interesting. We might have some BDE lore here. Ooh, it took everything in me not to shoot that guy. You know horror games get real when there's a sprint button. Yeah, definitely. Is there a sprint? I don't I don't think there is. Shift is that. I guess he's like kind of perma running. So that's how you know the shit's real. <laughs> it is much more shooty than it is scary though. At least from what I remember. Don't know, you don't have it on Steam. Oh, okay. I mean there's no point. But yeah, games like that are such time sinks. But like looting and, and moving for real. Like I'm trying to stream here, Buckets. They keep doing me dirty. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's not loot. Oh, it's Alt F4 to sprint. I think uh, to sprint, I just have to hold down the power button on my PC. <laughs> right? I'm pretty sure that's how I sprint. But you almost got me there. And almost you nice try. What was I all of Mikey's audience and now I'm moving over to BDE. Oh. That's I kinda like that theory. That's spooky. You're what, like ten point nine thousand people? Cause Mikey is absolutely killing it. Oh no. Hold on a sec. Help me out, bruh. Hey, what's going on, lights? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Go. Oh wow. Flash banged. Lights came in and the screen went bright. Turn those lights down. Just kidding. Don't ever change. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, I think there's quite a bit of this in this game. See, I am also lights. So, yeah, true. True. You light up my life, so. <laughs> Oops. Shit. We need you up here. <laughs> Somebody shot this corpse. Too late, boss. Wasn't me, boss. Just leftovers. What point am I proving, Daedrid? <laughs> Let there be light. Hell yeah. You take a look around. No, I have to take a look around. So I'm the video game guy. I'm the main character. be honest as much as you didn't like season three of the walking dead it's actually amusing when you progress more and understand javier's backstory yeah like i know it's going to be good and it's probably i'm sure it's worth playing it was just tough to go straight from two to three it was just like such a shift in oh in like everything you know graphically storytelling wise writing oh god But I do want to see, you know, what happens with Clem. And I know there's a, a, another game that I want to try. The final season, as they called it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at that car. Wow. It kind of looks like it's out of Telltale game. <laughs> flashbang. I, I think I get flashbangs in this. I get, I get flashbanged a lot. Obviously, in case you haven't seen. In 14 minutes, and I think I've been flashbanged like three times. But out of nowhere... Mystery flashbangs or something. Hey, Dylan. How you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. How's it going? So nice to see you. Hello. Not nice to see him. It's nice to see you guys. <laughs> Jeez. The final season is also all right and nice ending. Okay. Well, the nice ending intrigues me. I did always hear that the first two seasons are, like, perfect, quote unquote, and then it kind of drifts off a bit, but... I like an ending. I've committed enough to it, you know. I've played half of it. I should finish it. I wasn't listening to him. Shoot. Come in. Over. What's going on? I've lost settled... He was just saying like crazy guy stuff, I'm sure. Ghost boy things. Oh, look at that. He like 
Crawl into plasma and a mushroom? I'm pretty sure that's a mushroom. Okay. Two birds en route. Kenny is love, Kenny is life. Hell yeah, I love that. I should put that on a t-shirt. Don't tell me, like don't spoil it, but if Kenny dies, I'm gonna be really upset. That's a used Japanese condom. <laughs> oh, which one? This one? With the T? Damn. I guess, yeah, I guess some dudes have like mushroom caps, right? I guess I'll go back in. Look around the area to see if you could have gotten to that cutscene location any other way. What does that mean? Kenny doesn't die. Oh, good. Good. Whether you're, like, for reals or just telling me to make it hurt so much more, I appreciate it regardless. Oh, the choppers are here. Oh, nice. Nice. You gotta love breaking glass in old games. Or maybe he does. Oh, this guy. You guys. Depends. All right, all right. That's the right thing to do, right? Be curious if the game forced you to go that way or if there was another direction that could have changed the outcome. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, where the guy jumped me? I, I think it, I was forced that. Oh, look at this. Gross. Let me th think I could throw a penny in his mouth from across the room? Oh, here we go. And he can support the whole series on his back? Yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> I hated that flashback though. I've tried so hard. In season, the beginning of season three of Kenny. Wait. Wait, I watched Kenny die. What am I even saying? Wait, I played that. He died in the flashback, right? Oh my god, I blocked that out of my memory. That was so stupid. I hated every second of it. Wow. You played every season and every episode, and you could have changed what happened. Wait, in the flashback, I could have changed what happened? Yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. Wow. I, like, totally blocked that out of my brain. I hated it so much. <laughs> nice. All right, saddle up. I heard that. I didn't hear the rest. Pretty sure he said shoot all the bad guys, but I could be wrong. Look at this. We need fortunate son playing right now. Where's Daedrid when you need him? Interval 2. Initiation. This is quite the initiation. I'm not just going in here to kill a bunch of dudes. Wait, he died? I wasn't there. Yeah! Season 3, episode 1. There's a freaking flashback. And he's teaching Clem how to drive. And... They crash for no real reason. They just spin out or some shit and they crash. And if I remember correctly, he gets bit and he dies. In a flashback. Like, who who thought that was a good idea? Give me a name. You know, give me an address. Oh, find a gate control. Chill, brother. Chill. Oh, I wish I didn't wasn't reminded that he died. I'm angry all over again. <laughs> Fun, mostly sad fact. In a scrapped ending of season two, if you stayed at Wellington where Kenny told you to, it was said that he would have drowned himself while humming a song? Oof. Oof. You know what, though? I, I would believe that more than him dying on the side of the road after a car crash. Because he's lost everyone, he was, like, obviously severely depressed. That, that would be terrible, and I would still be super upset about it. Don't get me wrong, but... Oops. At least it would be a death that he wanted. Maybe maybe that's kind of where, what's getting me. I'm hearing bad guy noises. They did him dirty in a flashback. Yeah, dude. They did us dirty in a flashback by pulling that shit. Oh no, what happened to you? Who shot you in the face? <laughs> Oopsies. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, right. These guys are all waiting for me. Oops. Sorry, guys. Gentlemen. Okay, I'm heading back. 
backtrack. Oh no, my brothers in armor. Brothers in arms. Wasn't that a video game? Oh shit! What the hell? Those dudes got skeleton. Oh, another flashbang. There you are, lights. Glad it was scrapped, and now that the ending doesn't exist, but you can still play at Wellington and he will go. We can just imagine if he's still alive somewhere. Yeah, I guess that's true. You're right. If I hadn't started season three, he'd still be kicking, right? I could just like 86 it. That is unknown. Both teams have gone silent and fierce team life science monitors are offline. Oh, good. So I'm alone. Wonderful. Wow, look at this. That's pretty cool. Will they move? Nice! You gotta love ragdoll physics. Now, Jeru, what did we talk about? Psychopathic tendencies? You are the one who pushes me to do most of my crazy things? <laughs> so if anyone's here to blame, it's you. Are we all alone? <laughs> Is there anyone else in the room? These flashbangs are making my head hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. They are super annoying, honestly. All civilians have been neutralized. That's a that's a lie, sir. Got him for you. Am I on your team now? Anyone? Hello? Leave them for sexy time? Ooh. Oh, look. They definitely didn't hear my gun. What am I doing? I'm playing this like it's Tarkov. It's, it's fear. What am I doing? <laughs> slow-mo before every video game had slow-mo oh my god i think i went flying that was that was pretty cool i'm okay with that you know you don't want him coming back you know oh i, th I was hoping i could like jump through that i don't think there's melee which is too bad courtesy of max Payne. yep exactly max Payne did it first oh my god Now that's a, a good game. Max Payne. Remedy. Monolith and uh, Remedy are my like two favorite devs. Made a lot of games that Jeru liked growing up. Oh, gross. Why didn't uh, these guys get vaporized, but my team did? What's up with that? Oh, nice. Health pack. Hell yeah. That's fun. Use med kit to restore my health. I'm at 102 health. I'm good. How did I miss <laughs> all of those? That's rough. Here we go. Follow the light. Today is Easter Sunday, right? I follow the light. Oh. Oh, melee shift for hand-to-hand -hand combats. Can I melee if I jump? Oh. That is just dying for like a kick. Oh, there it is! Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna kick this dude in the head. No. Yeah, you know what? This like fun, spooky music started. I'm gonna. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> really, dude? That killed you? Yeah, man. Nice. All the light, follow the light. Hell yeah. Like that Nelly Furtado song. Except don't turn the light off. Follow it. Oh, jeez. Goal. <laughs> Love it. It was like the world's most violent penalty kick. Can't wait to get the um, the nail gun. The nail machine. Oh, jeez. Or the shotgun. Oof. Little bits of this game are coming back to me as I'm playing it. Oh, God. Man. That's not too bad. These guys aren't that tough. They don't scare me. That's fun. Too bad there was no one standing there to eat that. Oh. Oh. Incoming. Unknown. Okay. Guess that's my, like, spooky meter. Letting me know something spooky is nearby. Oh shit. Here. Echo Echo 6 this. Uh. Going for the hat trick. 
<laughs> oh hell yeah this is like a the vin diesel movie or something Someone's got to make a Walking Dead funny moments compilation. That'd be fun. People like crying on stream and stuff like that. Since the game is so sad. Nice. I just have to pick up fragmentation grenades. Ooh, like that. Spine shattered. That was 100% a spine shatterer. Spine shatterer? Yeah, I'll go with that. That dude's not standing up straight ever again. Like, if I didn't, you know, kill him. He'd be bedridden for, like, at least a couple weeks. But again, he's dead. Oh, oh, double pistols? Okay. Oh, oh shit. That dude was kind of spawn camping. What was that about? Nice. I don't know. Those physics were right. I was shooting him this way, and he went flying into the wall. I don't know. It looks cool, at least. Oh. <laughs> Give a little slow-mo boop for funsies. Okay, yeah, I prefer this, for sure. Not even close. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's so nice that they speak out loud so often to let me know when they're like nearby I really appreciate it I won't tell them I appreciate it because then they're going to stop doing it what is this? Longshoreman Digest That's those are some good mutton chops, oh, facial hair oh, sorry <laughs> you scared me oh, you scared me oh, hell yeah hell yeah Oh, new gun. Hell yeah. Gotta love a shooter that lets you shoot. There we go. Quick save. Oh yeah, I have some grenades. Let's try those out in slow motion. It's fun. Oh, these guys are dead. <laughs> uh. Well, we gotta go into that. That voicemail. You can't leave a voicemail unanswered, right? You have one message. Okay, let's see if it's worth it. This is Chet McCowning. Uh, nobody seems to know what's going on, but we've been hearing a lot of loud noises. <laughs> He's, this guy's definitely dead. That's what I think, Chet. Okay, here we go. Bird cargo. You think they would have built like a stairwell? <gasps> oh, I should have threw a grenade. Love it. I love that I'm on their radar or their walkie talkie station. I want the shotgun. Okay, I gotta use a grenade. Okay. Little quick savey save. So much ammo. Oh look, the dictionary. That's nice. Oh, light body armor. Yes, please. I don't need another gun. Never thought I would say that, but here I am. More health too. Can I go above? One hundred five is my max. Not complaining. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, let's use a grenade. Check the upper floor. Yes, sir. Check the floor. No, no, no. Don't, don't check up here. All's well. All's well. No one has a grenade. Everyone chill. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I gotta do the slow mo for it. Get him! Come on, my slow mo. It's not infinite. Oh, I should have cooked that. Oh, that was disappointing. Should have cooked it. Here we go. I'll cook it. I'll cook it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. All right. She's busy, little bro. She ain't coming. Oh, sorry. Nice. 
What do we? Are we is someone gonna sell all the uh, office furniture that's in this place? I guess it's still like an active factory currently. Your heightened reflexes will give you an edge against enemies. Press slow. Oh, am I, have I not been supposed to have been using slow mo up to this point? That's madness. Okay, here we go. Cooked it. Hopefully, I got that one guy. Oh, too centered. Oh shit! I just threw another one. Damn it. Oh well. You live and you learn. Where? Who said that? Who said that? Oh shit. Oh shitty. Ow. Jeez. Wow. That hurt a lot. That was a pro grenade toss. Damn. Who is this guy? You should do like shock put in the Olympics. It'd be so nice in real life if you were like in the army or found yourself in a situation where you're killing a bunch of bad guys because you know that happens. You could hear their comms and hear them screaming like, oh shit, and oh no, and you know, take care of my kids and stuff before they die. All the good funny stuff. That's, uh, that's my blood. Ouch. <laughs> that one hurts. Oh, jeez. Where did you come from? What the hell? Oh, oh, there was another way to go out. Uh, it probably would have been smarter to go this way. <laughs> I just started shooting over there. Oh, yeah, this would have been way better. Maybe not. Okay. Think I'm clear? What button is it to voice chat? <laughs> Hello? All the NPC bros are dead. Let me loot their corpses. <gasps> oh, jeez! This guy must have like, been Scooby-Dooing me around these door doorways. He had the shot on me, and he decided to yell that he can see me instead of shooting me. Huge mistake. Paid with his life. I'll go down here. Heater and refrigerator maintenance. Oh. Oh shit. Spooky stuff. Someone, someone. Can't shoot ghosts? What kind of shitty game is this? Oh man, he's glitching out bad. Have you guys thought of reacting to meme slash scary vids? Just a cool idea? Uh, not really. Yeah, I guess it's not really what we're trying to do. But I definitely see the views on people that do. Jeez. Oh, sheesh. No, I mean, <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh God, another flashbang, Jesus. Oh, geez, small child. It has radiation poisoning or something? I don't know. Oh shit. Nice, this is Max Payne. We aren't big enough to do that content. That is also true. That is also true. He's alive. Save me. I call in a medevac? He doesn't appear to be injured. Although I don't know how he survived. I don't appear to be Worry injured. He didn't even check my pulse. Gotta take that fucker out fast. Jim, keep looking for Jankowski. I'm still reading his life sign. You can't send him in alone. That's crazy. Come on, I've done all of this alone. I can take care of myself. You know, I just almost died, right? Just, just saying. Video game logic. Yeah, exactly. Super dangerous thing that this guy already failed one time at doing. Send him in again. Let him have it. Oof. A lot of dead boys around here. Some 
big is going on. I'm a big tough guy, if that's what they're tra talking about. Oh! Ooh, gross, look at this. Like a movie. So many bad guys have died in those things. Wow, that was a really dark corner. What's that do? Oh. Oh, video games. Ooh, answer me message. My duty to answer all voicemails. Well, obviously Mike never got back to him, so I'm going to say there's a safe bet that he was in said explosion. Which is too bad. Oh, what's down there? Hidden things, maybe? Extra loot. Both hidden things and extra loot. Come on. What is this? Oh, reflex booster. Cool. Alright, I guess that was worth it. I guess. I guess. At least there's some plants growing here. Okay. Across the goo, we, we go again. Warning. These premises are monitored. Trespassers will be prosecuted. What, by being shot at? Because kind of already happening. Um, I don't want to eat it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> Ladders. How do they work? Oh. Oh, 45. Nice. Oh, boy. Unknown origin. We got a signal coming from parts unknown. Oh, here we go. This is scary. <gasps> Gross. Spooky. Scooby Doo does. Oh, gross, dude. Come on, grow up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. All right. She got me. Oh, that flashing light is excruciating. I'm so sorry. Let's get out of here. All right, we're back outside. The air's fresh. Feeling good. Nothing over there. Oh, damn. <gasps> Oh, there's a health pack down there. Hell yeah. Hopefully I can get up. Oh, thank goodness. Man, you should have grabbed that health pack, dude. <laughs> Big mistake. Okay. There's... There's no... No main characters here, gentlemen. Here we go. Oh, is there two of them there? Am I going to get both? Oh, he dove right into it. What a Chad. Oh, wow. I got both of them. Fuck. Hell yeah. All right. That went pretty well. I'm not upset about that. Yay. Pop pack. Poop pack. Oh, okay. Definitely no main characters. Nope. Not around here. Not around these parts. <laughs> I'm just another NPC bad guy. Pay no attention. Just don't go that way. Oh god. Oh, they uh, they really get the shot on you when you hit a corner. Oh, oh did I get him? I think that means I got him. Hello. I think I got him. Do we check down here for goodies? No, nothing. Oh, what's this? What do we got here? Oh, more of these guys. Reflex boosters. Let's go. I really like the music in this game. Uh, I 
go this way? What do we have here? Hello. There's something so satisfying about secret areas in video games. I don't know what it is. Boop. Um. Oh, shit. Nice. Look at that. Oh, can I? No? Okay. Uh, okay. <gasps> what was that? A mine? God, I'm playing too much Fallout. I'm walking and I hear a clicking noise. I think I'm about to explode. What computer do you use? Your laptop can't even run pixelated games? Oh. My computer's like, okay. This game is also, I don't know, 15 years old. It could probably run. I did have to put manually install three patches to play it, which is annoying. Um, the PC version of the game is kind of unsupported. It is on consoles. I don't know if uh, that interests you at all. Oh, God. It was nice of that guy to let them know that they needed reinforcements as he was getting shot. Kind of selfless, you know? Uh, gotta respect the uh, camaraderie. Video game logic. You find an injectable something in a dark corner. Oh, I better inject it and see what happens. Yeah, legit. And they're glowing this too. You're like, oh, what is this glowing stuff? Let me put it directly into my vein. Because I can. Maybe in real life, if you were going to do it, in like a text prompt popped up and was like, hey, tutorial. Oh, shit. This thing is okay, you know? Then maybe you'd, you'd just start committing to injecting yourself with stuff. <gasps> oh, no! I think they heard me open their binder. Oh, wow. Die, fools. Y'all got any shotguns? Oh, shit. Oh, no, rip. Damn. My finger was on the health pack button. Ain't that a shame. Okay. Let's uh try this way now. Hit him head on. Game devs love to make things hidden and... Oh, God. Sometimes you lose your sanity when they do that. Yeah. I don't like when it's hidden too well, you know? I think stuff like that should feel like you're challenged, but ultimately it's satisfying because you find the end or find the, the loot or whatever. I think the forest did a really good job at that. I don't know if you ever played that game, but the forest's caves were like super kind of confusing, but not really, but made you feel like you were kind of overwhelmed. Rip. Yeah. Yeah. Rip indeed. That was the first rip of the night. That makes it sound like I was farting, but y'all get it. <laughs> Fart cam. Oh, God. Oh. Did I shoot those for funsies? Why is there no one here? They put these explosives here and they don't... Oops. Give me anyone to explode. Alienware. Wow. Freaking ad. I didn't agree to this shit. I'm not making money off Alienware. <laughs> oh, jeez. Major contamination coming from upstream. Uh-oh. Dice. Wait. Diet? Diet squish? Yeah, I don't know about that E. I don't know. We'll accept it, but just because we have to. Oh, wow, it's 1.15. Way past my bedtime. I gotta clock out here. I missed my shows. Oh, wow. Super important low-res JPEGs. Um, where do I go here? All right, I'm doing it. For real, they don't explode? Damn. Damn. That's an L for sure. Now this shit's locked? Oh. Oh, big 
open space. Equals bad guys. I knew it. Spread out. Stop spreading your cheeks, Gary. That's not what I meant. Wrecked. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, let me cook a grenade. Call me Gordon Ramsay because I'm cooking. Michael Bay is disappointed. <laughs> not enough explosions for him. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Not enough, like, 360 camera movements around characters looking very dramatically. He loves doing those. Hello? Hello! I'm a good man. This guy just walked into the path that his friend just just got murdered in. Probably a bad idea. Maybe he was expecting the reload, actually. Could have asked if I was reloading. I would have told him. I want the shotgun. Give me the freaking shotgun. They explode when you shoot them with a shotgun, so what's not to love? I love watching dudes explode. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Oh, water? Do I trust water? Oh, shit. I do trust water. Okay. This water. <laughs> do I trust little girls? No, not really. All the AI processing goes to the line selector. <laughs> There's these like big gaps of level that are like intricate walkways and stuff. Oh, new Coca Cola. But oh shit, that's loud. But then there's no bad guys. And then you get a big room full of bad guys. And then there's another section of maze like loneliness. And then you get more bad guys. Oh, and flashbangs. <laughs> Tee hee hee. Nice. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a, a splash. <laughs> Yay! Oh god. Oh, that's creepy. That's very creepy. Blood. Oh shit! Damn. Nasty. Oh wow, load screen. You became a woman today? A strong, independent woman? Oh. Damn, all these blocked doors are killing me. Can I go back through, I guess? God, those water sounds are disgusting. Oh, look at this. Oh, some, like, fog uh, graphics look nice. Very nice. Okay. Pop up here. It's always... Oh. It's always, like, super convenient. Underground sewer system, I guess. Is that like a latrine that I just climbed in? Here we go. I'm going to kick this dude right through the window. Oh! <laughs> Damn. So disappointing. Oh, look. Nice. That's fun. Hell yeah, grenade. What was this guy doing? Guarding a single grenade? Get it together, dude. Get it together. That's really nice. Water reflection. This game is sort of was released in a time between really terrible looking games and amazing looking games. So it has that like it almost looks really good vibes. You wanted the rock but got Kevin Hart. <laughs> What's with those two? Are they like best friends? Or do they just coincidentally do every movie together? I guess the size difference is is funny. Is is what the point is. Oh shit. Oh, okay. They saw my flashlight. Wow, that's pretty cool. I remember this game being revolutionary for, like, NPC smarts. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. They're using my own weapons on me. Hey, dude. Oh, grenade. Hey, Mikey. How you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome on in. I hope your long weekend's going well. 
Hope you got lots of chocolate. <gasps> Give me contact. It worked for DeVito and Arnold. Yeah, you're right, actually. Totally. I gotta say, I prefer DeVito and Arnold over Kevin Hart and The Rock, but... Maybe I'm biased, because I'm an old man. Correct. Oof. That's... I don't know if that's a closed casket, but it's definitely... He's not showing his junk in the in his... In his grave. Jeez. I'm good, man. Nah, no chocolate? Oh, bummer, dude. Just buy yourself chocolate. That's what I did. You have I guess that's why you're an adult, right? Look at that phone. Oh. oh, wow, I can actually shoot it off. That's, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna check out here. Oh. Oh, okay. Never know, it might be loot. Always gotta look. Oh, this looks like a big battle. How's fear? Is it as good as you remember? Um, I'm loving it. Of course, it's it's amazing. Um, is it having the same impact that it had on me when I was 15, 16? Probably not. <laughs> is it 15 years old and still a super fun shooter? Hell yeah, I'm having a great time. I'm not huge so far on the repetitive level design, um, but I'm in the first level, so I'll, I'll give it, you know, give it some time, right? I don't remember much about it, but I'm hoping it's not all this industrial shit for, you know, 12 hours. <laughs> Wrecked. Have you, uh, did you ever play this game, Mikey? I know you like your shooters. Your shooty boy. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, gotta love it. Whoa, he threw a grenade at me while I was shooting him in the mouth? Is this the freaking Terminator? Is this Danny DeVito? Oh my gosh, flashing lights. I did, don't think I beat it though. Oh, okay, fair enough. Wasn't your thing. What were you super into when you were, I mean, uh, I guess, playing PC gaming for the first time? Like getting sucked into the world of nerd, being a nerd? Because <laughs> mine was 14, 15, 16-ish. A lot of the games that uh, meant the most to me in my life, I feel like we're on that time. scared you too much oh yeah you don't like horror games right well you've come a long way it is much more shooty than it is horror though for sure i was huge into day of defeat oh dude day of defeat i never played it but i played day of defeat source that was such a good game i think playing um uh Total brain fart. Oh my god. Hell let loose. I was sort of hoping for Dave defeat, and it didn't give it to me, and I was kind of disappointed. And I think I got, like, the wrong impression of the game because of that. Oh, this is janky as all hell. You played the shit out of them both? Yeah. I, I definitely too. Me too. I played a lot of CSGO as well. A little bit of 1.6. Or no, not CSGO, sorry. I see a source. Yeah, see a source. We don't play see a go, see us go from where I come from. I guess me trying to be an elitist, I should have said, oh, 1.6 or something. Oh, hello. Hey, oh, <laughs> this light, man. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. that oh, god damn it. That's a pretty cool little detail. We probably unknowingly played the same lobbies back then. Oh, probably, dude. Yeah. 
I would tell you what my old username was, but I don't want to get banned. <laughs> JK, but like, not really. Oh God. I think I saw a shotgun. My friend. Yes. Thank you. Should I like gun better than this gun? Have you guys heard of the game called Afterlife? No. What is that? Game recommendation? I love game recommendations. Do I go upstairs? Do I go down this darkly lit concrete hallway or do I go down this darkly lit concrete hallway? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to choose up. Think SimCity, but heaven and hell. Oh, oh, that sounds really cool. Damn. Is it an older game? Oh, it is an older game. That's really cool. Event horizon found. Nice. Sim enemy grenades detonate when someone's nearby? Oh, okay. Like Dungeon Keeper era. Oh, so like, like old, old. Fuck, I gotta keep turning my flashlight off. Here, let's hit these guys with a grenade. I feel like um, SimCity games just in different, oh God, like settings and genres is kind of an untapped market. Or maybe it's not and I'm just like, don't play them. So I don't, I'm unaware, uneducated. My SimCity clones. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god, we kind of went ass to ass on that one. Gross. How could you do that, dude? That was so gross. Get away from me. Let's enjoy the view here while I take a sip of my drink. I hate windows. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh! Thank goodness the... Oh, oh what? That was dead. He was just crap. <laughs> oh, sucker. What's down there? Water? Oh, that goes a ways down. Damn. That dude's down there forever. He's not getting out. Okay. That was easy. The opening cinematic for Afterlife always got a chuckle from me. What, uh, what happens? Love those physics. He's dead as fuck. Yeah, for sure. If my shots didn't kill him, that fall definitely killed him. We we'll kind of want to go down to see, you know, but I feel like it'd be a permadeath and that, that's just not worth it. All right, let's go through. You'll look it up. Oh my God, what the fuck? What is this? A video game? Oh, dude, he, I'm butt black. Oh, he didn't even get a shot off, bro. Oh wow, actually, you know what? I'm sick. I'm hurting significantly. <laughs> Someone was shooting me. Oh, the penetrator. That's the nail gun. Hell yeah. Here we go. Right to the wall. Nail him. I mean, it is Easter Sunday. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right, man? Oh, I love this gun. I have no, no need to uh, use any other gun. All right. Go hammer some dudes. Turn my flashlight off. Oh, got him! <laughs> Probably loot down here. Nice. Nice. Damn, this was a good little corner. That was terrible. Oh, sorry, Dylan. You're right, it was. It was inappropriate of all days. Easter jokes, boo. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of uh, like a cop out, right? Making Halloween jokes on Halloween, etc. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that's in an interesting spot. <laughs> Just saying. How's your Easter uh, going, Dylan? You have any chocolate? Come on, I nailed that guy. There we go. Oh my goodness. Some of them just hit harder than others. <gasps> There's a guy up there. I see you, buddy. Oh, right off the, the edge of the platform. Holy crap. Ugh. Oh, 
that water is terrible. I want to go say hi to that guy. Give him a name. I don't know what his name would be. I'll call him Christopher. I don't know why. I think I'm thinking Sopranos for some reason. I don't know. You remember this gun being absolutely goaded? Yeah, it is, dude. I'm like one hitting these dudes. It's kind of nice that they give it to you in the first like 55 minutes of the game. Look at that. <laughs> Damn, how long is that dude going to hang out there? Oh, kind of bad. He was just at work, you know. He's just doing his job. Oh shit, what is that? Going decent in the bathroom a lot with digestive issues this evening. Could be better. Sucks. Had breakfast at the church and lunch at my parents with an egg hunt and bounce house. Oh, I mean, it sounds really nice other than the digestive issues, of course. Especially on like a holiday where you're, you are you have the chance to eat, you know. What did we do before cell phones when you had digestive issues and spent a lot of time on the toilet? Must have been terrible. I don't even remember. Locked it out of my mind. Read a lot of shampoo bottles, I guess. Yeah, I also hope you feel better soon, man. Hopefully it passes quickly. And then you can eat... Oh, Jesus! Okay, alright, that was kind of scary. Then you can eat all the chocolate, is what I was going to say. Magazines, oh my god, yeah! Through magazines, that was definitely a thing. I had like three years of Nintendo power that I used to just flip through. <laughs> and the uh, the spines of them, when stacked, they would like make an image. I don't remember what it was, but I remember thinking it was hella cool. Not cool enough to remember, but <laughs> cool. You know. Oh, jeez. Damn. Oh, jeez. Oh, the freaking double got him. Well deserved to die. I don't even know these people. But I am killing them, so I guess I agree with you. A devastating explosion <laughs> in the harbor this evening may not have been an accident. We have learned that evidence of a fierce gun battle has been found by police investigators. Several bodies were recovered from the scene with bullet and shrapnel wounds. So far, no one is commenting on exactly what happened here or why. No one's commenting. That's how I turn all my radios off and my TVs. I go through a lot of TVs. Can I kick that? Here we go. For funsies. Like, it's Gary's mod. Oh, that was... Oh my gosh. I, I thought that was... That was ugh. I thought that was significantly deeper. Oh. I hate that noise. I have this thing with certain frequencies or like repetitive sounds drives me crazy that's what he said I don't remember what you were referencing I feel like I say stupid shit all the time so it could be anything sorry oh look it's folks <laughs> folks weekly it's for everybody you know you might say gee Ian. I thought that was significantly deeper. Oh my god! <laughs> a lot of the, uh, the the out of context things I say, I say on purpose, just for you know the, the gag. Um, but that one I definitely didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. <laughs> Stupid ass phone. Uh. Oh, gross. Someone having a mincemeat pie up there? Uh, that's... Okay, there's nothing in this room. Help keep us... There's room clean. Ha ha ha. Oh, monolith, you're so funny. Um, oh, what am I supposed to do here? Down? No. You, mincemeat pie. Yeah, gross, right? Especially this bloody. This is a raw mincemeat pie. Longshoreman done. 
digest. What what do Jeru do? Jump down. Vent Horizon found well, they had like four magazines that they just like traded up. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Oops. So that wasn't very deep, but jumping from a second story balcony. <laughs> I don't know why I thought there was uh, water down there. Okay, here, let's get spooked again. Oh, hi, little girl. Oh, hi, creepy man. If Guru told some of these jokes to interrogators, they would fold instantly. <laughs> My partner earlier today showed me that she has a note on her phone. I think she overhears me say on stream out of context and uh she read them to me and they were pretty funny i gotta admit so yeah lights that's that's basically what you're describing right oh i thought that was master chief for a second nope <laughs> owned gross oh how do i get that Oh, the rats have them. The rats should take the upgrade. Turn them to a Marvel villain or something. Can those notes be used as court evidence? Oh, God. She's like, ha look at this. I haven't shown my lawyer these at all. It's it's basically a lot of references from Fallout as, as I was playing Fallout. That's the kind of game I feel like a lot of weird things happen, and you know, you can certainly say things out of context. Oh, I bet that's where my little upgrade is. Hell yeah, look at that. I see it. Kind of creepy. Alright, let's jam it in my arm. That one's for you, Altard. Creepy. Kind of long. Sounds like someone's moving a shelf up there. That's scary. Definitely worrisome. Hey, left a video and suggestions. Then you can see the intro to the game. I'd forgotten. It was from LucasArts. Oh, really? Wow. I guess they were like, had their name on everything back then. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you. I will check that out after stream. I'm excited to see it. You said it, it makes you laugh. Is it because it's like bad or is it just like funny? Funny bad, maybe? I'm sure I'll love it either way. Oh shit. Scary things. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. That's creepy. More cheesy than funny. Okay, well, I'm, I'm more excited to see it. I kind of love cheesy, bad, good stuff like the room and stuff like that. This is spooky. Oh, this kind of looks like my thumbnail. <gasps> Who are you? Oh. Oh. All right. I feel like I'm in a movie where the, they like, after the movie was done, they were like, oh, no, we can't sell this. We need to make it creepy. And so they just went into a warehouse and shot a bunch of creepy imagery. And that's, and then they edited it in. Oh, okay. I guess I'm taking this with me. Sorry, dude. Gate boy. Oh, shit. There's someone tied up here. <gasps> oh! What the hell was that? Unnecessary. That part made young Oscar Mikey shit himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember these scary parts being a lot scarier, to say the least. Huh? Oh. Wow. The, game, the devs really didn't think anyone would be crazy enough to shoot that guy. Here I am, I'm crazy. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, no! You think it was a picture of Hee Hee? Oh, God. Like, take cover, and then they all run out in the open. I got to use slow-mo more. Oh, shit! Oh, oh. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. 
I'm getting my, my butt blasted here. Oh, they're coming from there. Guess I'll use my super powerful shotgun, I guess, if I have to. <laughs> Jerk. Had to double tap on that one. Nice. My bullets didn't kill him. The glass definitely did. Sorry, dude. I'm trying to get through this window. Can I? Oh. Door's not blocked. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Apologies. What are you guys doing? Cool. I was wondering if shooting that did something. Well, this isn't a great long distance shotgun. Although, maybe it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I just get flanked? Man. Props, dude. Props. Here we go. I'm going to learn my lesson. Eat my grenade. Oh, I can't go through here. They have to come down here, I guess. I'm going to hide here. Oh no! Nice grenade throw, loser. I just want a glass to like rain down on me, feel like a badass. Alright. Okay, take a sip before I murder these guys. Oh! See you up there, poking your head out. Is that it? Oh, look at this. This is nice. Raining dust. My allergies are going to be furious. Um. Oh, shit. Aren't they supposed to open that door for me? Oh, it's a big boy. They blow it out. I see. Like a phase two situation. Oh, that was an absolutely god awful grenade. Oh, shit. Oh, I were killed. I were killed. Rip. Okay, before I respawn here, I'm just going to run to the bathroom really quick. And then uh, we're gonna do this and I'm not gonna die. I swear. This game had nice particle effects, especially with the time. Yeah, it does, definitely does. Especially in the slow-mo. I remember being blown away playing this for the first time. Now it seems pretty like run-of-the-mill, but... Uh, but yeah, okay, I'll be right back. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. I feel real bad. What is this creepy ah uh, music? <laughs> is it fearful music? Ouch. Um, guys are kicking my ass. But yeah, I guess it was kind of creepy hold music, wasn't it? Here we go. Grab the grenade. Eat it. All right. If I got one of them, I'll be happy. You been malkin for a bit? Hell yeah. Get those vitamins, you know? Oh, wow. Oof. The accuracy on this thing is, like, stupid good. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, shit, he threw a grenade at me. 
Not cool. Oh, here we go. Tough guys. Eat that. Oh, they explode on impact. That's huge. <laughs> Love it. He kicked the light. It's an amazing emoji, Mikey. It's like a cat. I love it. A salmon cat. Oh, Malkus. Oh, I also love that one too. Oh, hello. Did I get more ammo for this on the respawn or something? I'm not upset. Authorized personal only. Shit. Well, that doesn't include me. All right, I'm going to have to call stream here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, look at this. Oof. Dude, got wrecked. Oh, I like the cat one. You can almost hear it. Yeah, me too. That's, I think, why I like it so much. It's like a meow, but like an, an oof as well. Ow. Fucking rude. <laughs> Had the shot on you. Now he knows how Jesus felt. <laughs> Hell yeah. Happy Easter Sunday, everyone. Oh, shit. Ooh, that dude is never going to play another game of soccer in his life. Nice. Explosions rock. Okay, here we go. I don't think they saw me. I wish it told me if I was like caution, hidden, or in danger, like Fallout. Oh, I'm going to blow this up. Nice. Cool stuff. Hey, where'd you come from? Look at me. I'm peeking like a guy in a car near a playground. No, I, I, never mind. Redact it. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Man, the amount of damage in these walls. It's ridiculous. Who's going to repair all that? You like the, the helmet and body armor perfectly folded up everywhere in this place? Oh, this looks very bossy. Oh, this drone music is like a bad Nine Inch Nails song. Get him. Did I get you? Oh, he survived that grenade. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good grenade. One, two, two and a half. Your girlfriend definitely writing that one down. <laughs> yeah, probably. If she's listening. Fortunately, she usually has headphones on, so she misses a lot of the really awful stuff I say. Oh god. Oh, that dude just missed it. That's gross. The no detection indicator in this game. They went for realism now. Go and use your slowdown time power to kill the enemy. Yeah, I'm definitely not using my slowdown enough. That's a good point. I don't know why. I'm sure I will soon. Once I, like, have to. Because I'm overwhelmed or whatever. I have to use max pain time on their asses. Looks familiar. Hello, anyone here? Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Ammo. So many lights on and so many empty rooms. Like, who's paying the power bills around here? Okay. Big circles. I love big circles. I ditch my nose. Did we go up here? I don't think we did. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm up here. Nice. Guess I'll heal and take that. Drop a quick save on their ass. Oh, right before a checkpoint. Game and I are on sync. Oh, here he is. Oh, these... Dudes, so violent. Imagine peeking around the corner and, oh, cool, and seeing this. This is scarier than the little girl walking around. They've been tortured, poor old me, to keep the light on. Cheap bastards. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Working you to the bone. And they're probably not even paying you. Like, paying you in, like, hollow points or something. You okay, man? You good? I think he's okay. That would be the moment I quit. I know, right? You see that? You're just like, nope, I'm out. Done. Blocking out. Going home. 
Uh, right. Oh, okay, I see. Follow the light. Let the light guide you home. Slippery when wet. Okay. Oh, wow, I slipped. Oh, shit. I slipped into a load screen. The real dangerous, uh, real danger out there. Oh, nice. Look at that. Hard note moment. Yeah, exactly. Nope. Your whole squad's like, hey, Mikey, what are, we, what are you doing? Like, no, I'm done. Maybe you could have them all over for like a barbecue or something. And you can all keep your lives. I think Jeru talks to corpses more than he talks to actual. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like real life. Right? Every time I open my fridge, I, you know, I always have a good conversation. With the bits and bites of people I have in there. Oh no, not mines. It's my worst enemy. I think that's like the third or fourth time tonight I've said something's my worst enemy. I've made a lot of enemies, apparently. Jeez. Probably my stupid face. <gasps> Parkour. On the radio. Oh god, there's so much blood! We need reinforcements! Exactly. <laughs> It's like half this game. You're like shooting a guy and he's like, Oh God, I forgot to turn the stove off. Not my problem, bud. Peace. Yeah, exactly. That's because you're a survivor. You ain't a sucker. Wait, is that a loaf of bread? Oh no, that's a big empty. You've got to keep a diary for all your worst enemies. Oh, true, true. And if you ever run into a witch, you can curse them, you know? Put a curse on their page in your diary or something. Witches do weird shit like that all the time, I'm sure. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Uh, I know at the beginning of the game. I, I committed to letting all the rats live. Um, and I just I just want to apologize. I, I'm not really sure what came over me there. That's like the 20th rat I've seen. Um, yeah, we're just going to move on. Oh, God. What the fudge? Oh, man, not invisible people. I hate invisible enemies in video games. Hate it. It's such a stupid crutch. Some people use the word coward. I prefer the term not dead. <laughs> exactly. People are calling you a coward because they're the coward and they want you to be cannon fodder to go in and die. You're not stupid. Command. Gives them a band-aid. Get back to fighting now. Yeah, that's basically how it goes. The American military budget is like so bloated, but there's still not enough soldiers? Question mark. Oh, up here. Trigger finger is real. Yeah, right? That's Yeah, that's what it was for sure. I just saw something moving and I just shot. It's like, no. Ah, he's shooting me in my knees. Never gonna play with my grandkids ever again. Go, go. Oh, that was spicy, dude. Uh, oh, I'm up here. Okay. I guess I'm in like sewer chic now and not in factory chic. I guess I was complaining there wasn't enough change. Here, I got my change. Did I just get ammo for my nail gun? Uh, okay. Hey, look. Welcome to the 2000s, bitch. Uh, oh, okay, so I guess that was just for the loot. Oh, oh fuck, out! <laughs> the rat's firing at me. Who the f what? Who was that? How to find invisible person. Step one. Oh, get a flamethrower? Yes, I like that. Spin the blade blade when using the flamethrower. <laughs> if you were constantly spinning and had like a 10 foot flame radius, like a perimeter of flame around you at all times, that would be insane. You'd be able to like defeat anyone, any video game character ever. I love that. 
That's got to be like a... Oh, these make me think they're like radioactive because of Fallout. But yeah, having flame and spinning has got to be a special in some video game or another. Hell yeah. Exactly. Fire emojis everywhere. Okay, I came in this way. You guys okay? Are you guys okay? Oh wow, he's kind of got a booty on him. Not anymore, I blew it. I blew it off. Oh look, there's a hidden ladder here. Wow. Sneaky. I think Fallout is constantly on Juru's mind. Now, you have no idea. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding. It's a lot. It's a lot. I should just be playing Fallout. I do... I have been casually playing Fallout 3 a little bit. I haven't been doing the main story because I want to... Oh my god. I want to do that on stream. I've just been doing, like, stupid side quests and stuff. Um, but... God, I, just, I love... I love looting. I love exploration. And I love shooting. That's Fallout games. What do you think about the upcoming show? I'm very excited for it. Just to, I, I don't really have any expectations. I guess I have some expectations being a fan of the games. Um, I'm excited for it. I don't know. The casting seems fine enough. I watched like half the trailer and, and thought, you know, I'm not going to watch any more of this because I'm going to watch it. So I stopped. So I haven't seen much footage, I guess. Just trying to keep my expectations realistic. But I'm excited. I really like uh, Walton Goggins. And I'm super excited that he's a ghoul. The main girl, probably my least favorite actress in Yellow Jackets. The show she was, I guess, kind of blew up in. But it's just because she has a weird face. And I shouldn't hold that against her. She's a good actress. You can open up to lie? Oh. Oh, to me. Oh, okay. What about you, man? What about, yeah. What do you, how do you guys feel about it? It seems kind of random. You know, like, 76 came out years and years ago. I don't, I'm like, I'm not complaining about it, but... Oh, hell yeah, dude! That, I probably cooked that a little too long. It worked out very well, but... Damn. You know, I just, like, blew the shit out of this room, right, guys? I'm the one who knocks. Come on. Well, I guess I didn't knock there, but... Nice grenade. Hell yeah. I get one a night, right? <laughs> That's about my 15th grenade toss. But there's one good one. You have no expectations. Video game movies and shows are usually bad. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, Last of Us? How'd you feel about Last of Us TV show? I don't actually know if you've played the game, though. I don't know if we've ever talked about it. Like, they're, they're definitely going in the right direction. As far as movie, video game, and uh, TV shows versus like the 90s, you know, where they were like just fucking terrible. Wow, that was, see, that was a really bad grenade throw. I get one a night, now I'm cursed the rest of the night. The Last of Us show was great. Yeah, it definitely was, right? Um, but I'm sure I've mentioned it a few thousand times, but Last of Us 2 is probably my favorite game ever. And like, so my expect, hey, and the first one, don't get me wrong. Um, so my expectations were really, really high, and like, it was an amazing show, but I was still disappointed. You know, it's kind of a curse to have as a fan of something. I only watched it the one time though, and my partner and I have definitely been talking about rewatching it, and now I kind of know what to expect, and I feel like I'll probably enjoy it a lot more. Holy shit, really? Yeah! <laughs> it's not something like I I say often, because I know my it's it's a wrong opinion like I, I i know what i saw and i know it's amazing but i don't know i don't know i just i have i held it too high too close to my heart you know and I, oh whoa holy crap last of us 2 is your favorite game ever completely unexpected yeah probably man like there's a lot of games that like this you know that I grew up loving and I say are my favorite, but within the last like 10 years, I want to say, yeah, probably no judgment here. And yeah, no worries, man. I, it's totally cool. Uh, Daedrid is giving me so much shit for it and he's never played the game and he hates it. I don't know if you're still there, Daedrid, but yeah, you can try and defend yourself, but you're wrong. 
I'm not <laughs> I'm not pissy about it. <laughs> I don't know. I just I I really like the storytelling in it. I really like the gameplay is like it's so fucking good. I like how it's open world, but not, you know? I really like how they mesh that. Fucking baby. Yeah, that's me. Oh god. Go this way. Let's not stand near those explosive barrels this time. Uh, what is that? Have I had that gun? I don't think so. Oh, nice! Sniper! Hell yeah! No, danger to baby. Oh, yeah. No, he's a huge baby. He, I've told him a million times he can't have an opinion on something he's never played. He went woke. That's the issue. <laughs> Ow! Granada. What the fuck? Or I guess he didn't go woke. That's the issue. Because it's a woke game, right? Quote unquote. And that's why everyone was pissed off. Because it was woke. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was great. Oh, shit. You've only played about one third of the way through, not because you didn't like it, just because I never finished games. <laughs> no worries, man. It's a long ass game. And that's how I know, like kind of also why I say it's my favorite game is because it's like 30 hours long and I've probably beaten it three or four times. And that's just, that's a lot for me, at least a lot of hours to spend on a, a story based game like that. Lesbians, as far as the eye can see, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's not the love. Eat it! Oh, missed him. I wasn't expecting him to move. I didn't know NPCs could strafe. What, uh, Mikey, what's your favorite game of all time? Laser Shoot Larry? Laser Shoot Larry, I think I said. <laughs> Either I'm Sean Connery or we're killing Larry. Oh, God. Wow, that sounded like it was right up to me. And you, Lights, what's, uh, what's your favorite game as well? I love hearing people's favorite games and movies and stuff. Guru, you know hip fire is inaccurate, right? No, it's not. Why are you lying? I just killed that guy with hip fire. <laughs> he didn't land five, eight to eight shots on me. Okay, I gotta hide up here. I should have stayed up here in the first place. Wrecked, wrecked. That looks really cool, but it's not. A non-practical explosion, is that a thing? Okay, here. Wait, what? Oh my god, he was getting up from the dead. Uh-oh. Dot dot dot. Maybe Battlefield 3. Nice, dude. Nice. Battlefield 2, the I think we've talked about it, the PC one. That's definitely like my top. It, it might be my most played game ever. But I'll say it's probably my like top five games. Squad this, nerd. <laughs> nice. Man, grenades that explode on impact when they only hit a body. That's huge. Huge. You really don't have one? Oh, that's totally fine. Totally okay. What would you say is like your most played game? Even if it's, you know, like Snake on your phone or something. EF2, so good. Yeah, so good. I was in like a clan and we did tournaments and stuff. It was so much fun. I wish I had footage of that time. You know, now we record everything, but back then, like I had fraps, but that's a throwback fraps. I probably recorded footage of this at some point originally with fraps. That's the, that footage is long gone. Good old days. Um, Battlefield 2 is actually free now, and they have, like, some dedicated servers. Quite a few. It runs great. Um, and I played it, like, maybe a year ago. And there's a lot about the game that they, like, changed over time and updated and stuff. Like, you can't throw C4 and shit like that anymore. Um, and everyone only played Strike at Karkand. I don't know how familiar you are with it, but... It's sort of like the DE Dust Nuketown map of the Battlefield 2. Which is fine. Um, but yeah, great game, dude. Great game. We need to remaster that. Just ditch 2042. Or 
21, 42. That was fun. That was a good one. Yep, you know for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Strike of Carcan was dope. Don't get me wrong. But only like the beginning section was dope. The back half where it was like the big warehouses could do without oh dude golf of omen i think was my favorite too i remember they released like a demo and i think golf of omen was the only level you could play and i just played the shit out of it so good dude the like nice beach and the airplane like carrier or whatever in the water good shit good times i would stream the game one time but it would just be like two hours of me getting absolutely blasted and no one wants to see that you don't really play games. You play League of Legends for a bit until I rage quit. Oh, fuck. Well, that's totally okay. You watch enough games. You don't need to play them. Because you're, like, an amazing viewer. <laughs> don't sweat it. League of Legends is not something I ever played. Uh, but, yeah, that's, like, a, a life runer, isn't it? Isn't that, like, wow? That's at least what I've heard. Things are so loud. And they only had two pop machines here. Such a big place. All right. I have to take a sip. Prepare for more killing. Ooh, mines. Do I get to use mines? I got my mind on my mind. Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a proximity grenade. I guess that's like a kind of the same thing, sort of, a little bit. Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. You guys didn't hear anything. Chill. Oh, damn. I just got rid of my, my shooty shooty fresh and fruity gun. Okay, we're going to drop a quick save here. This sounds spicy. Hello? Oh, come on. That dude has like a 10-inch pole up his mouth and down his esophagus. Ouch, ouch, ouch. My slow-mo. How could I have forgotten? Everything is so much po more powerful in slow-mo as well. League is something no one should ever play. It drains you. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Oh, shit. Any game that requires, like, a thousand hours to even be, like, to enjoy, that's just not fun. Ain't nobody got time for that. Dipped out for a while. What'd you miss? Uh, basically this, yeah. Everyone being hilarious, you know, us having a good laugh. Shooting dudes who have a lot more armor than me. Wow, this dude is just taking it. Could I let him live at this point? Like, maybe, right? Ow, ow, ow. That was kind of rude. Oh. Wait, I have a sniper rifle. Oh, shit. I heard a grenade. Maybe. Shooting generic bad guys and discussing our favorite games. Yeah, that's that's accurate. That's def basically it. Ah! Oh, no ammo. Come down my scopes. Ran out of ammo. Amateur. What's your favorite game, Dylan? Minecraft? I know you spent lots of time in Minecraft. Here we go. Hit him with a grenade. Hit him with a grenade. <sighs> Did I get him? I don't think I hit him, but maybe I got him. Oh, it knocked the guy over. Oh. Come on, man. Give me, throw me a freaking bone here, bud. Death Tarkov. Need for Speed Underground 2? Hell yeah, dude. Oh. It's a game I wanted to go back and play. I don't know like how much it holds up, but I've seen it on sale for like a couple bucks. It's like, ah, oh, that's such a good game. Looks like the HLC is clear. Recent years, Tarkov, fair enough. Another game that I've always wanted to play, but was told not to <laughs> by people who know what I like. Got a free copy if you want it. Of Need for Speed Underground 2? For real? would love that dibs thanks man oh i'm getting rescued nice you gotta love a fade to black instead of a conclusion it's like when a band doesn't know how to write the end of a song and they just play the same riff over a bunch of times until it fades out like write me a freaking ending oh dylan i would love that dude thank you 
I will absolutely play that with a big smile on my face with the soundtrack turned way up. Most Wanted original, amazing, cheesy, but amazing. Yeah, Most Wanted was huge for me too. I would say those two are the best Need for Speeds, in my opinion. I did, I did really enjoy just self-titled. I guess it was just called Need for Speed, I think. In like 2015, maybe? I really, really liked that one. Oh yeah, the soundtrack is tits. It is, dude. It is. All those classics. Most Wanted had a really good soundtrack too. But yeah, no, under, uh, Underground 2, I, I feel like just, it's iconic, the contract, uh, soundtrack. Oh God. I have like glitch anxiety while playing this uh, because, you know, like classic old games, you spend money on them to play and they don't run or they crash because they're pieces of shit. So I had to manually, I had to put three different patches on this to get it running. And uh, it's looking great. It's running great so far. But every time it freezes to load, my butt puckers a little bit. Your all-time favorite racing game has to be Burnout 3. Oh, dude. Those freaking games. They were around. They had, like, awesome fun car physics when car physics, like, weren't a thing, I want to say. You know? Kind of like this game, I feel like the physics and stuff don't seem as impactful anymore, but back in the day, it was like everything. That's how Burnout was. Those games were awesome, dude. Made you feel like a superhero in a car. <laughs> Burnout Paradise was really good. Yeah, that was a good one too. That was one of the newer ones, right? Quote unquote, newer. Destruction was its big standout feature back then. Yeah. Yeah. I remember being able to like watch the, the crashes in slow motion and stuff. I bought Burnout 2 at Blockbuster. Used. <laughs> Throwback. Holy shit. You just like unlocked a memory for me. Did you guys ever play the Stuntman games? Oh, look at this. Good night, nerd. <laughs> Rip. At least he didn't see it coming. You tear up a little whenever you hear any songs from the soundtrack. Yeah. Dude, like those old games, like Tony Hawk. I still throw on Tony Hawk soundtracks. I don't know if music has gotten more expensive to uh, a license or what, but I feel like soundtracks just don't hit as hard anymore. I love that all of the like Vice City soundtracks and stuff are on YouTube in full with the commercials and stuff. I used to play them at work. And he'd be like, you know, rocking out to like Maneater or something. And then a, a funny commercial would come on. It was such a treat. That seems unsafe. Oh! <laughs> Good thing you were a baddie. Because now you're dust. D-E dust. Um, no, I want my shotgun. I don't have any ammo for this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think it's necessary. What? That's a thing? That's awesome. Yeah, dude. The check it out. It's like they have bajillions of views. Like I'm not alone on loving them. <laughs> Even like the I want to. Oh my god! I almost said just chatting radio stations, which I guess they technically were, but the talk radio stations are up there too. The writing in Grand Theft Auto just hit different back in the day, man. I guess they're still good, but. There's just so much like stupid tongue and cheek stuff. Oh, nice! Look at that. That was cool. He did like a 1080. Bonk, bonk! Right off the the edge. Right off the edge. The inhale, dick bag. Oh man. How far did that guy fall? I think I can see him. I think he just like despawned. I want to see him. I don't know. I don't know. You still listen to Rocket Side and Scavenger from the original soundtrack? Love it. He spun so much midair. Yeah, that was awesome. Pretty sure I saw him, shot him like center mass too, but <laughs> I just had to spin it out. I get it. GTA satire will never get old. No, definitely not. I was playing it last stream. And I gotta say that, like, 
This is gonna sound so boomer of me, but the language in it isn't aged that well. Like they were dropping the C word, the F word, just like a bunch of stuff that like I didn't want them to be saying on stream. <laughs> I did have a mission with Jimmy though, and that fucking kid. Oh god. Uh, but yeah, no GTA, unrivaled in its satire. Saints Row tried, and they made Animaniacs or some shit. Back in my day, video games didn't have swearing. You listen to mining picks hitting boulders? You know real rock music? <laughs> Your music taste is so literal. <laughs> you could even say it's hard rock. I don't know who I am. I mean... I definitely think that. I don't know. Who really knows who they are? Not this guy. <laughs> Yoink. Oh no! What? He yeeted a grenade at me right off the top. It's not fleshing me out, dude. That's blowing me up. Oh, this music. I feel like I'm in like the pacifier or something. Nice. Nice. Ouch. Dude. That was my cranium. Pop up. <laughs> oh yeah, boulder emoji. Yeah, Mikey would have a boulder emoji. <laughs> you know all the emojis. Or is it a rock emoji? I don't know. I shouldn't assume it's a boulder, you know? My bad. <laughs> oh, nope. <gasps> Oof, look at that. I want to jump down there. Oh shit, maybe I'm supposed to jump down there. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to jump down there. Yoink! Oh! Scary. The fade to black sure softened the, uh, the fall there. Could be a kidney stone. Yeah, true. True. Could definitely be a kidney stone. Locate and reset network hub. I'm supposed to like reset the router. You're telling me to unplug it and plug it back in. This is like real life tech support. Hello. Oh, look at this. This is fun. Let me have a seat here. Yeah, there's no bad guys in here. input it'd be really cool if i could play fear on here like playing fear the game in the game that would impress me oh sorry finger slipped oh shit oh shit this is a big hallway hearing scary noises and there's locked doors armacam technology cool nothing bad going on here Hello? Oh! Oh! Who the fudge was that? Oh, it's the invisible electric boy. Great. He's just gonna taunt me till the end game. And then he's gonna butt blast me right at the end. Oh, sheesh. What are you doing up there? You get down from there, kitty cat. Stay out of my way. Oh no, thick glass stopping my bullets. Stay out of your way. You keep coming in my way, dude. The You're the ghost. Can you go haunt like another building if you don't want me around? Look at that guy. I don't think he's doing too good. Okay. So there's monsters coming up? I don't remember there being any monsters in this game. Oh my god, it's still 115. It was 115 when we started the game. Spooky. It's definitely them not reusing assets, but it's that, the fact that I'm frozen in time for sure. 
Call Mel. You think they ever called Mel? A version cowboy? American cowboy. Oh, okay. I have an aversion to cowboys. Damn, dual monitor. Get some gaming going here. Sorry. I'll play the game. <gasps> oh! Fuck. Jeez, that got me. Got me good. Well done, monolith. Well done. Ooh, oh. Potential. Look at that. Growing through the concrete. That's deep. You've been stopping time so much the clock stopped. Oh no. If this was a TV show, that would definitely be like a consequence at the end of the show of my time usage, you know? Wait, isn't that the story from that Matthew McConaughey movie? Interstellar? He time travels so much. He misses everything? I don't know. Oh, I can't shoot that one off. Damn. Look. This guy also needs to call call Mel. <laughs> Here we go. Hey Altard, I I don't know if you're still there, but what's your what is your favorite game? Did not ask. Man, everyone's got the same mouse pad, the same setup. Bomb me. I know that's a huge ask. It's huge. No pressure. You know, don't sweat it. You can say a couple games. <laughs> oh, jeez. What the fuck? Oh, am I actually fighting him now? Okay, yeah, I'm fighting. I need a flamethrower and I need to start spinning. <laughs> oh, bugger. Ow. Okay, yeah, no, I am fighting him. Confirms. Wrecked. Oh, shit. I was almost dead. Oh, he's kind of cool. He kind of looks like the, the guy from uh, Hellboy? The fish boy? Or whatever his name is. Oh, no, not another one. Come here, Hellboy, fish boy. Look, he's doing parkour. <laughs> That's what you get for doing parkour. Killed on the wall you're climbing. They don't have any ammo on them, though. That kind of sucks. Because I'm wasting ammo killing them. Fuck, there's so many of them. There's an answering machine in there, dude. I'm just, I'm just, just trying to get the message to the correct person. Yeah, these guys are like a 100%. Must use slow-mo to murder. Yeah, you guys can cuddle together on the floor. Look at that. You're like 69ing. It's not cheating. We were facing opposite ways. You have three, two messages. Three messages. I don't give a shit. I just don't care anymore. Here we go. Oh! Whoa, yikes. I'm less scared of them now that I've killed three of them, but they still, they're still they still worrisome. Oh, oops, that window was open. My bad, guys. What's this? Temporary breached. Some of our security. Vectors. Oh. This kind of reminds me of Doom 3. Very different environment, obviously, but kind of similar. Sort of mazy hallways and stuff and bad guys. I guess there's no, like, floating flame skulls in this, but... Bagged ya! Sucker. Hell oh, dude, look at all this loot. Hell yeah. Oh my, oh my days. Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy 7? Nice, dude. I never really got into the Final Fantasy games. I don't know why. Um, but I definitely played Chrono Trigger a shit ton growing up. 
Those are super fun games. That series is it's dead, right? It's not around anymore. At least I don't hear about it much. Oh, this is like a worldwide thing. Oh shit! You're a big RPG fan? Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Chrono, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know Final Fantasy is definitely still a thing. RPGs are something that I played quite a bit growing up, but I don't know, as I get older, I just found that I enjoy shooting things more. Oh god. Didn't think I was gonna have to face two of them. Where'd the other one go? You think so? Oh yeah, it's still going, eh? Is it like a Nintendo Switch exclusive, maybe? Alright man, that was a really cool roll, but I'm gonna have to empty a clip into your face. Sorry, dude. You were coming at me, for the record. Oh, it's still 115. Scary. No, no, you think it's dead also? Oh, oh okay, okay. That's too bad. All right, it's up there should be like a classic, you know, like boomer shooters have sort of come back. They should bring like classic RPGs back. Although maybe there is games that have that have replicated it very well that I just don't know about. I don't know if you know any. Um, does that say anything about you and your violence, Jeru? <laughs> no, it does not. Role playing? Nah, I'm good. I'm here to shoot dudes in the mouth. Oh look, there's an address. It's my home address. That would be terrifying. Monolith Productions. Aw, that's cute. It's Monolith's address. Love that. Alright guys, Easter egg number one on this playthrough. <laughs> this just became an Easter egg playthrough. Because it's Easter. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't even plan that. Look at that. Last I heard about something related to Chrono was a fan remake that Nintendo shut down. Ugh. Yeah, they do a lot of that, eh? Like, I, I guess I get understand it to a certain point, but... <gasps> oh my god, another character! Oh, look at this dude! To give a character a comlink, simply walk up to him and hit F. Oh, I did, was not expecting another character. All right, dude, give me a quest. This is Fallout. <laughs> Tell you what, you do everything, and uh, you know I'll, I'll do a little bit. Are we gonna trust this guy? Okay, is he wearing shorts or jeans? This is a huge moment. I don't know if I'll trust him. Press pants. I do like that shirt. Look at that shirt. Oh, he's cross-legged. Cutie. Oh, what are you eating? Cheetos? Just wait here. Yeah, like no-name crisps. Oh, here's a bag. Let's see. Cheese, cheesy poos. <laughs> Adorable. Love it. Best game. Game of the year, even though it came out 15 years ago. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't worry, buddy. You just stay there. Oh, that was a little closer than I meant it to. He's going to turn into a ball after that bag? Yeah, he is. A ball of cheesy poos. He's going to have some pretty spicy poos after eating those, if you know what I'm saying. Like me every time I have Taco Bell. Oh, wow. This dude is like crushing these bags, dude. Look at this. He's got his folks magazine. You have one. Fucking cheesy poops. I know. Look at this. Like this guy, there's no way he went to the grocery store after everything hit the fan and, and bought these, you know, like he had these at his desk. Ready to go. Like 15 bags. Smart man. You should really always be preparing for the apocalypse, right? If you're not preparanoid, you're not really living correctly. That's an interesting looking ship. Okay, let's see. Can I... What do you got on here, dude? Oh! Oops, sorry. Hope that wasn't, like, the gateway out of here. Oh, look at this. This is a nice desk. Soft lighting. No cheesy poofs. Right side top drawer. Yeah, right there. That's where his cheesy poofs were. He's a drawer full of them. Yeah, absolutely. He's smarter than all of us. 
I've been playing for what an hour and 59 minutes and my character hasn't eaten one thing like what a freaking waste here we go oh how does how does he what does he hear it flying through the air come on that's bullshit that was a perfect throw i don't care what anyone says oh the elevator let's get out of here can we like hit up a burger king or something i'm hungry now i want cheesy poops for some reason Oh, I'm glad I poked in the dick. That guy didn't even have a chance to like have a, you know, a flashback of his, his life or anything. He just died. They say in your last moment, you see your life, right? All that dude saw was my muzzle flash. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> Mr. Makes a lot of noise. Which is a weird name. Just a little quick save here. Here we go, here we go. Oh, ouch. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's shooting me? Suck that, nerd. <laughs> Fuck. Love it. This music is so cool. Reminds me of like the, the orgy scene in, in uh, Matrix for some reason. Still moving shit around your base? Damn, dude. It's gonna be so nice though when you like launch the game and all your shit's moved over and you don't have to worry about any of that, you know? It'll be worth it. You're doing a great job. Oh look, someone was definitely piling this up, ready to steal shit. And then I guess they died. I recently worked somewhere that went out of business and I definitely had a like to steal pile. I'm not gonna lie. As everyone should. Oh, look. There was an orgy scene in the Matrix? Yeah, dude. It was, it was like an underground cave. It was terrible. Oh, 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 wow. Hello. Oh, man, I forgot about the orgy scene in the Matrix. Yeah, it's a bit of a divisive scene. At least that's my understanding, is that a lot of, like, diehard Matrix fans don't love it. <laughs> yeah, it's a rave orgy. Exactly. They, like, saw... What is it, the first Blade movie with the vampire orgy? And they were like, oh, this is sick. We need to do this. But they just, like, Mace, fucked it up. Mr. Mace. Where is that idiot? Hello? Who's there? Wait, the, the, the chip guy? He's, he's ignoring me already? Or ignoring my superiors? Which I guess is, like, a kind of a low-key a power move. Yeah, I guess I have to go back and see where, what he's doing. Oh, nice. The gate opened. You gotta love that in video games when, like, the ghost opens the gate for you. Oh, wait. No, that's not the gate I wanted. <gasps> where is he? Where is he? Hey! I shot that wall. I heard shooty. I heard shooty. Oops. Oh, I see shooty. Holy shit. Oh, I hope all those guys weren't gonna like retire tomorrow. Do talk about the third Blade movie? Oh, the one with Jessica Beale and Ryan Reynolds. I remember liking it, but I also saw it when it came out and I was, I don't know, like a stupid teenager, so I really have no idea I have no idea how good it is. Um, but Blade 2, Best Blade? Yep, I agree with that. Definitely agree with that. The CGI has aged horribly in those movies. Um, but, you know, it's part of the allure, right? Part of the fun. Like the freaking blood scene. I think it's the first one. There's like a blood tornado or some shit when Steven Dorff is dying. I don't really remember. But the CGI blood, it looks terrible. There's a lot of drama in the set of the third one I heard. Yeah, I did hear that too. Um, I know there was a scene where Wesley Snipes is laying on like a table or something. And he's a corpse. But he's not actually dead. And so he opens his eyes in the shot. And I guess he was like not willing to open his eyes on the day of. Just because he was fighting with the director. And so they CGI'd his eyes opening. And like if you watch it, you can't really notice it if you didn't know. But once you know, it's so obvious. 
I remember hearing he couldn't even he refused to talk to the director unless it was through like post-it notes which like is hilarious I wouldn't want to work on that set but that's hilarious come on oh that sucked when it came out blood demon yeah and we never got a blade four I do think that blade would have been like a cool universe to explore though it created a pretty good universe and then just kind of ba have abandoned it. Lol, wow, yeah. So Wesley Snipes. And then now he, now he has no career and you wonder why. Even Steven Dwarf is in some weird creepy movies. Oh, creepy things are happening. Careful, Mikey. Close your eyes. Oh, here we go. Back into construction site. Like, I feel like I'm playing Condemned. They probably reused these assets from Condemned. Man, this place is never going to get built. I should say finished. He's the original. Oh, like original clone? Covers with high... <laughs> covers eyes with hands and squalls. Aw. Who the poor baby? Who the big baby? That's how I talk to my cats. You guys also talk to your cats in like stupid high voices. I like to think they like it. They look at me like I'm an idiot, but it makes me feel nice more construction baby delays and layoffs yeah exactly right they called all the guys working on this and they were like hey man so about uh, going in tomorrow we're gonna have to let you go it's not us it's you oh oh geez here we go <gasps> oh was i supposed to shoot that you know what my guilty pleasure movie is doom with the rock and carl urban i love that movie i haven't seen it in a really really long time um but I loved it. I remember liking it a lot. Is it a faithful adaptation? Fuck no. <laughs> Does that matter? Fuck no. I remember the first person, like the fan service section they put in where they were like, okay, well, you know, we're doom. We'll put a first person camera in there and we'll get him. I remember loving every second of that. I'm sure it looks absolutely terrible now, but that shit was cool, man. It's great, though. Yeah, it is so good. The best part is the FPS part. Yeah, exactly, Eltard. Exactly. A man of taste. Oh, sheesh. This is kind of like that scene in... <gasps> Lady, announce yourself. I almost shot you. There was a lot of anger in this room. It's not faithful, but it's still awesome. The FPS part. Yeah, it's so good, dude. And that was, like, before The Rock could really act. Which kind of makes it more endearing, you know? I don't know. And Carl Urban, like, he's he is he's the best. Like, let's be honest, he's the best. I'm not even sure where to start. Almost complete liquefaction. Doom Three is a game that I, when I played it, I was blown away by the graphics and you know everything, gameplay. I I held I held it so high, um, and then I went back maybe two years ago and played it. It kind of sucked, and it was sort of bummy. I don't know how you, if you guys have played Doom 3. <laughs> Ooh, bad CGI, the rock scorpion king form. Love it. Did you guys see that video? There's like YouTubers, and they do special effects, and they, um, I wish I knew the name of them so I could shout them out on my absolutely massively popular YouTube channel. Um, but they redid the CGI. Oh, hello. In Scorpion King, in that like one scene the one that you're obviously thinking of and it looks so much better <laughs> semper fi motherfucker the rock 2005 yeah <laughs> did you see walking tall that was another good one with the rock before he could act he had some good stuff he's all right he's kind of run his course in my opinion but you know he had his moment he had some good stuff sport or digital oh yeah that that sounds right that sounds right. Ow, ow, ow. 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 Hey man, I'm just I'm just here on my nine to five, dude. I'm just trying to get my 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 steamline stapler. Oh rip. You think you saw it? Oh yeah, yeah. Apparently you guys both did. Hell yeah. Oh look at this cactus. <laughs> Sorry. 
Desert is my least favorite region. Fucking cactuses. Wrecked. Oh, jeez. I had one nut left in that. The last nut. That's a good name for an adult movie. One nut to rule them all. One nut to bind them. Come on, man, really? Five more grenades. Who has a cat? Us in a high end office? Oh, a cactus. Yeah, yeah. A cat us, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't know about that one. Like, who's watering that? No one that works here, that's for sure. Wait, where did I come from? Am I crazy? Oh, 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 right. Yes. Cactus hallway. Cactus Jack, here we go. Where are you, bud? Where are you? Oh. These guys look... They've got like a little red bandana on or something, but otherwise they look the exact same. And the game is like, oh, you're making progress. The enemies are way cooler and harder. But really, these guys just have red... Eye covers. Eye covers. There's a cactus at my work, but it's definitely not in a high-end office. Is that more acceptable? Yeah, I would say that's more acceptable for sure. Hell yeah. Oh, look, another one. Wow. They were like, okay, guys, this level, it's, it's another office, but we need to make it look different than the rest of the offices. Like, oh, what about cactuses? That guy probably got a promotion that day. And then Monolith went out of business. Okay, here we go. Marlon Wayne's. Let's be careful about the cactus discrimination, boys. Don't want to get canceled. That is true. That is true. I do not want to get canceled. Can't confirm. And I have nothing wrong with cactuses. I had a few cactuses. I swear. I've taken care of plants before. I used to have a tent in my house that I grew things in. Very exciting things. <laughs> That you grow in a tent in your house without your landlord knowing. JK. Oh, wow, look, another one. This is, oh, he's a big boy. Oh, shift is melee. My sticky keys are going to go off. Okay. Let's enjoy this cactus while I have a sip. I got to say that, uh, that's a good cactus. Pants inside your house sounds very legal. In fact, it was legal. <laughs> so I live in Canada, and uh, what, was, what was legalization? 2019? That any person can grow four exciting, fun plants in their house. Uh, I think max six feet of height. Uh, but yeah, fun fact. <laughs> I don't anymore. I hated it. <laughs> It's too much work. I also moved and I'm not allowed to grow, so that put an end to that. Can't confirm. Yeah, exactly. As Mikey stands like near his like 500 plants in his bedroom. That's why he doesn't do cam, you guys, because he's just surrounded by I grow a grow up. God. Oh god. I gotta start using slow mo more. Christ. He wiped out the whole squad. Well, who are you? You're part of the squad, right? And the guy doesn't feel involved in the squad. That's kind of sad. Sort of depressy. My brother moved into his house a couple years ago, and there was a humongous weed plant just randomly growing in his backyard. Wow. I guess the previous tenants had some fun with that. Kind of shocking they would leave that though for both like moral reasons and financial reasons <gasps> help are you good <gasps> run oh oh i didn't run away from you dude it was literally like five feet tall wow it's probably a sativa plant then they grow uh they grow to be quite a bit taller that's kind of sweet though did he just leave it i've seen like neighbors I, have, I know people who grew in their backyard like that in the city 
and they had neighbors climb over their fence and like steal nugs and stuff which was like pretty savage yeah lol welcome to canada hell yeah man hell yeah within like a year a thousand dispensaries opened and they all closed a year later welcome to canada bunch of idiots It's still her last I heard it's thriving. Damn, dude, that's sick. I don't know if he partakes, but at least that's fun. You know, you get to look at it grow. Plants are fun. Half the enjoyment of growing a plant is, is watching it grow, right? Another cactus. Ugh. I'd be like putting these in my pocket, taking them home. That'd be fun. Oops! Someone's grandpa was in there. He does. He's such a dope head. Oh, okay. Sweet then. Yeah. Hopefully he's like germinating it and letting it grow and harvesting it and everything. Because that's free free product. Gotta love that. Look. November. What happened to those days? Those were bad days. Oops. Dope head. I love that. That's like an old term. That should never have died out. You doper. Did I already come this way? Because it sure feels like I did. Oh, yeah. There's indiscriminate murder. I came this way. You just aged yourself. <laughs> nah. You just like retro sayings. Right? Right? <laughs> you doper. All that dope you smoked. I, speaking of dope, I just saw that uh, Cheech and Chong are going to be in Call of Duty. And I have to ask, why? Call of Duty has fallen so far. Like, I thought Dead by Daylight was, like, doing it pretty good. You just made yourself cooler. Hell yeah. You know, right when you think that, Mike, you can't get any cooler just happens he doesn't even try shit do i go here i hate what cod has become so fucking ridiculous i know dude i know like they add Nicki minaj in there like what the fuck was that but yeah cheech and chong so stupid i saw slipknot was added into dead by daylight which like i'm i'm a fan of slipknot don't get me wrong but that's so stupid <laughs> this is quite a maze Amazing. Uh, okay. Do I? Nope. Excuse me, sir. Where do I go? Got him. A few laps, I guess. Eh, <laughs> nerd. I haven't played COD 3, nor will I. Um, but I heard it was good. Like, obviously it was short. But I heard I heard good things about it. I might try it when it's like $15. I'm a very much a single-player campaign kind of guy, so three-hour single-player campaign does not justify anything more than, God, even 50, maybe $10. BBD has drama with the last monster, it seems. Oh, really? What's going on? It was pretty divisive at launch. Okay, maybe this is where I came in. You passed on it? Something about the VA demanding them. Oh. Dead by Daylight uh, audience seems to be... I'm not trying to offend anyone, but kind of pissy and elitist about the game it's a game that i maybe spent i don't know five to ten hours playing and i just didn't feel welcome at all at any point as a new player like yeah i suck my bad teach me show me the ways poppy you know i don't know not a great game for new players well this is going great sorry you guys Oh, you. 
<laughs> oh. Hello? Oh. You guys special forces? Damn, I, I wish I had a waypoint. Right. Any game without a waypoint is unplayable. Bishop. You can quote me on that. Put that on my gravestone. Okay, buddy. There's some elevators near your position. Put, quote, he wishes he had a waypoint on my gravestone because then people rendezvous with demolition expert elevators. Okay. Everyone will think I died because I got lost or something. That'd be hilarious. Wait, where'd the elevators go? Let's see. Let's read the signs. Information, research, development. Elevators rest from lobby. Nice. Let's go. Games like Deep Rock Galactic and Hall Divers are such gems based on their communities alone. Dude, yeah. I don't know much about the Deep Rock community, but the Hell Divers communities. Everyone has just like embraced the immersion, I guess. Pretending to save the earth and shit like that. I love it. I love it so much. And it's become such a <laughs> Jack <gasps> Open, 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 open. Damn it. Waited at the wrong elevator. <laughs> Nerd. They're both so wholesome. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Oh, fuck. Helldivers, I feel like, has owed a lot of its success to the community. Like people playing along to the like the immersion and the stupid story and stuff. That uh that's the best marketing anyone could ask for. Nice. Nailed it. Saka, how do I get your oh, your suit? Are these still opening? Yes they are. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. He said, hold your fire. <laughs> and I shot him like four times. So much camaraderie and team play. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think it's because the VA is trans, and when they hired him, the monster had no design at the moment, and I think one of the alternative skins is the monster using a skirt as well. That's so stupid. Who cares? Who cares what the voice actor is or what the character is? Like, just embrace it. Doesn't doesn't make the game any worse, you know? Nice, nice, nice. Thanks for blowing the hole open for me to go through and for you not to help me. <laughs> I want to play more Deep Rock so bad, actually. Such a good time. I miss it. That's a fun game. Definitely. We played it a few times. I feel like we were supposed to play it again. But like four of us. I'm always down, man. man I should have called in sick today. You should have called in sick today? Yeah, probably. Fudge. Am I just That's right. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just get this shit off me. Please. Where is this guy? I hear him. I do not see him. Gonna call off work tomorrow, no sense in getting other than the same sickness I've got coming out both ends. Oh dude. I didn't I didn't realize it was that bad, man. I'm sorry. Um but yeah. Hundred percent call in sick tomorrow. Never ever feel bad about calling in sick. And any business that guilts you for using a sick day can eat my butthole. Even though that'd probably feel good, but you know what I mean. Voice actor felt like they were insulting him, I believe, and sued. Wow. Wow. I know the um, the Last of Us community with Abby, the voice actress, Laura Bailey. She was receiving death threats and stuff. And it's like, you know, people need to grow up. That's too much. You want to feel a certain way, feel your way. You want to have a hissy fit, have a hissy fit. But threatening someone's life over, like, their job of being a voice actor, you know? Come on. Yeah, man, I'm sorry, Dylan, man. I hope you're all in sick tomorrow and... Oh, jeez! You know, spend the day on the toilet if you have to. But I hope you start feeling better, dude. Find another way to the roof? You mean this working elevator? Okay. Yeah, do you think it's food poisoning? You have any idea? Did you like eat somewhere weird or something? No common sense, most people, yeah. It's true. The average person has no common sense, right? Stay hydrated. Yeah, definitely stay hydrated. If you're going number two a lot, that's huge. Water is huge. Um. What? 
Excuse me? <laughs> this is not... Oh! 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 Alright, here we go. Little Miss Platformer. I see you. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Is this worth investigating? E yes. I need to. Okay. The kid who played Joffrey in Game of Thrones got death threats too. Crazy. It's only show people. I know. Like, the dude quit acting. And, like, he's totally thriving now. And I saw he, like, went to school and stuff like that, which is amazing. But, yeah. It sucks. Like, they're just actors. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. Like, they were mad at Joffrey, the actor, but they didn't, like, give um, George R. R. Martin death threats. But he wrote the character. You know? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, actually, I don't want to jump this, you guys. Okay, I'm going to jump this. We're going to save it and jump it just to see what happened. It might be. You've been trying to drink a lot of water today, but it's starting to taste disgusting. Oh, that is the worst. When you hit that point when you're sick, when water tastes awful, but you need water. Okay, jumping. Oh, that was disappointing. It didn't even really let me fall. I kind of hate when I, like, throw up a whole bunch and then swallowing anything. It just tastes disgusting and it feels like sandpaper. That's always really rough. Look at that. That's kind of dangerous. I heard you, baddies. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, God. That quick save butt blasted me. Ah, ah. I wonder what it looks like for them when I'm in slow motion. You know? What do they see? Do I start moving really, really fast? I guess that's what it looks like in movies, right? <gasps> Shit. They need him to finish the books first, then the death threats will come after? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe that's why he hasn't finished the books. Because he saw the fans and he was like, oh fuck, I can't disappoint these people. Ooh, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no, I want that. Nope, I want that. Yes, that's what I want. Only have five shots left? Damn it. Maybe I sh Oh, nice. Just found ammo for it. You gotta love it. Video gaming. You turn into the squirrel from over the hedge? <laughs> that's a throwback. Hey, you drew a smiley face. <laughs> hey, listen. Hello, hello. Oh, that dude's head. He was like windmilling. He must have been listening to some good tunes. As he was dying, he was, the breakdown hit. He couldn't help but windmill. Oh shit, I need help. Damn, that's a good throwback. Yeah, that is a good throwback. Holy shit. Oh, those are explosive. I'm not stupid. Come on, come investigate. <laughs> Nerd. Such a classic. What's your favorite, like, classic animated movie? I always really like Brave Little Toaster. That was the one that always stood out for me. Basically a horror movie, though. I think it may have been my first horror movie that I liked. Toy Story, yeah, of course, the classics, yeah. What'd you think of uh, what, Toy Story 3 and 4? Fuck, yeah, there's been t a couple more, hasn't there? Any of them. Yeah, they're all so good. Except 4. I like 4, but yeah, no, it was like significantly worse. It looked a lot better, though. Which, you know, doesn't mean jack shit when <laughs> the other movies are so much better and have such better story. Yeah, you didn't like it, eh? I only saw it one time, which I guess says a lot. Oh, negative. Nope, you guys don't see anything. Just a couple of guys throwing a grenade. I will say the ending of Toy Story 3, they did not need 4. That yeah, was a perfect ending. 
for like you know a trilogy it would have it would have closed it off book ended it as a classic trilogy and then they were like oh wait there's money to be made let's make another one it's like rings of power oh. wrecked this safe seems safe it's big dork energy it was a perfect ending right they survived the lava and stuff and there was like tears to be shed and yeah so good oh i need to start using my proximity binds how do i do that i have no inventory to pull up i'm just gonna start throwing grenades i guess yolo oh nice disney has it to ruin every movie series it can like greedy little paws on it is disgusting yep that's disney for you look at star wars <laughs> I cried like a little girl. Yeah, I like have a flashbulb memory of seeing Toy Story 3 in the th in the cinema. And that lava scene. I don't know why. Probably because I was moved and, and weeping. <laughs> but that's like a concrete memory in my head. So good, dude. So good. Got him. Where are you from? Are you in here? Killed all your mates. Hello, where are you? Ow. That kind of hurt. Did we get up there? No? <sighs> Come on, tell me that doesn't look like a climbable place. Damn it. It's definitely climbable, right? Here, maybe we can do like a long jump? <laughs> no, definitely not. That's a super long jump. Shit. Uh, no. oh! Don't scare me like that, dude. I'm barely even human. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> You watched the first two movies in the new Star Wars trilogy and hated them? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of any of the new Star Wars movies. I liked Rogue One, but I don't even know if that was a Star Wars movie. And I refuse to watch the last one on principle. I will not let them steal my time. Don't, dude. Don't give in. Don't give in to nostalgia like me. As I'm playing a <laughs> 15-year-old game. Yeah, I don't know those new Star Wars movies. I'm all for reviving the series if you have a reason to, and I don't think they did. Need it here first. I feel like I'm supposed to go up there. But I do not know where else to go. You've watched and it's honestly not worth. Yep. Nope. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Mikey. Don't waste your time. This is different. This game fucks. Yeah, that is true. It's like watching the classic Star Wars, you know, they fuck. If they like rebooted fear, I would probably say, why? We have Trepang too. Um This is not good. Thanks for confirming me, Dylan. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not just bias. The best part of the new trilogy is they made the second trilogy better. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it makes you appreciate what you've got, right? It's like loving your first child and then your second child, you're like, oh, I'm so happy to be having another kid, you know, all that good stuff. And then you end up hating the kid and you're like, man, that first kid was great. Oh, I blew you up. I don't even remember that. Sorry, dude. What am I supposed to do here? This is just aching for me to climb it. But I cannot. That's another guilty pleasure of mine, to be honest. I kind of like the prequel trilogy. I also, I think it was may have been my age, but yeah, I really liked them too. And Pod Racer is a hard ass game. There's no denying that shit. The little alien guy was definitely like a, like a Jewish stereotype though, which wasn't cool. Like, oh, Anakin, give me your parts, your razor parts, you know? He's like, I'm so cheap. <laughs> Look how big my nose is. You know what I'm talking about. That's kind of fucked up. But yeah, I really like those. Did you, uh, Mikey, did you watch 
um, the Phantom Menace in 3D when it was re-released, like, over 10 years ago, I want to say. Which, you know, did not need to happen. Let's, let's be real here. Gudo, is that his name? Gudo. Yeah, Guido. Wait, was his name Guido? That's awesome. I love that. Sounds kind of awful. <laughs> yeah. I worked at the cinema when it was released, so I didn't get to sit down and watch the movie, but I definitely seen parts of it. Uh, and yeah, it was hella unnecessary, but it was cool to see like the pod racing on the big screen again, you know? That was fun, for sure. Shit. Well, I think I've hit a, a wall here, guys. A proverbial wall. Guido was the one Han shot. Oh. You think you missed a part of the convo? Are we talking about cars? No, we're definitely not talking about cars. The Greedo? Oh, Greedo! Pod racing. Do you remember that pod racing game for N64? That shit was awesome, dude. Awesome. I was huge on that. I think I rented that from Blockbuster and just like never returned it. I did that a few times. I was kind of a shitty kid. What the hell's up with that? It's my fault they closed. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it was great. Hell yeah, dude. Those games were awesome. What are these guys doing? Oh. Damn. Yeah, I think I've hit... Oh, no, I came from here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. Hell yeah, look at that. Fucking backtracking, dude. Without a waypoint, backtracking seems wrong. You know, why Why am I supposed to go backwards? I don't understand. <laughs> Unless you're telling me to go backwards. That, uh, the kid from The Phantom Menace, the little kid, he, he had a bit of a rough, rough time in IRL, eh? I don't know if you've seen much of his stuff. I think the Star Wars fans kind of sent him over the edge, because... <laughs> Fandoms are shit. Watto was the worst. The one that owned Anakin. Oh. Dude, these names are all coming back to me as you guys are saying them. Owned. What happened to him? I just think, like, he just, like, had a mental break, and I think he had a couple, like, DUI charges. There's some... some mug shots out there of him... It's, you know, the classic child actor story where your life's fucking horrible. <laughs> you know, that age-old story that's definitely not in the news right now. I think he's doing well nowadays, though, but yeah, kind of bummy. Because he was a good little actor, that kid. He was good in, uh, in those movies. Poor guy, yeah. Bummer. It kind of blew my mind when I realized that George Lucas didn't direct all of them. Like, blew my mind growing up when I found that out. Because everyone knows his name and no one knows the other guy's name, which, like, I don't even... Is it Alan something? I, I don't even know. See? Ooh, ooh, is this like a bullpup? Oh, it's the sniper rifle. Lame. Sniper rifle's kind of shit, not gonna lie. Here we go, here we go. No, no, no. Wait for me. What the fuck? You pieces of shit. Dickheads. Who was shooting at me? Oh. I thought you were like... I thought we were bros. Okay, so now I'm shooting dudes in t-shirts. That's scary. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm dead. Shit. Okay. Well, this seems like an appropriate place to stop. It seems like I'm start, starting to kill dudes with faces, which just brings this up to like a whole new level of, uh, you know, horrific trauma. Because <laughs> they're human. Oh yeah, that if that dude's not dead, he's dead now. Oh, wreck. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna call it here, guys. Thank you, uh, thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it.
You guys are the best. You make me smile, you make me laugh, and you improve my days tenfold. I'm shooting the shit with you guys about, you know, nothing that really matters. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone. Mikey, Altar, Dylan, uh, Joel was here, Lights, you know, I don't know if you're still around. Always good to see you guys. Daedrid, I don't know if you're still around either, but you guys are the bomb. Thank you so much for hanging out and, uh, and watching me face my fear. <laughs> yeah, tough crowd. Um, but yeah, everyone have an awesome night. Take care. Enjoy your holiday tomorrow, if, if it is a holiday. Damn, here I was hoping to watch all night. Seems like it's... I'll be up every so often. Thanks for the stream, Drew. Oh, man, you're, you're the best. Yeah. I, uh, I have hit the four and a half hour streams, but, you know, tonight's not one of those nights. Sorry, man. <laughs> Godspeed for the upcoming week. Good luck, everybody. Yes. Uh, I would, would definitely agree that people probably need luck. Because the world is a great place that we're all happily living in. <laughs> all right, dudes. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. And uh, yeah, we'll see you whenever, you know, the next one, uh, the next one pops around. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.